brief Mondays in there, guys, so I'll keep it to the Sundays and the uh, agencies if that's okay. I don't know if uh, Jonathan and John wants to keep Jonathan. Yeah, Jack, how did you see the game? Was it a frustrating day for you for the Frustrating, I'm not sure. It's um, how football can be, eh? Um, We, 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 we met obviously Stoke in a moment when they think a point could be enough still. Um, otherwise they have to play different, but those have, if they think they can win the next two games and have a chance with that, then it's um, yeah, we cannot change the opinion obviously, so you, but you saw it in the game. If, and then you don't go, if you don't take the lead then, we had uh, two opportunities for that, um, a fantastic chance from Mo and um, I think, let me say like this, Trent Alexander has a dead leg. It was for sure contact there, so I don't know. Um, um, he, he was limping from that moment on. <laughs> um, that's the that's the other situation. Yes, it was called the offside goal. Not well, obviously in charge of the game, but not um, brilliant. Um, but it's normal. Not as normal in that situation. And um, um, then, yeah, second half was a little bit. It was again we, we started normal and. and with uh, two changes, I think we, we had kind of a breath of, of fresh air. Um, was really good, Kleine, good, helped us. We were much more often in the box and stuff like that. So it was, um, uh, yeah, then we had the situations, the kind of chances, but they fight with all their, they fought with all they had in, in, in the box, in a six yard box. Uh, and handball. Yes, probably, and um, at the end, we didn't score. So that's not the best day of my life, but I had for sure a worse day. So um, it's, um, let's take it like this. Let's recover and go to Rome. Yeah, since three, three minutes, n not perfect. Eh? Uh, I, I met the doc, so it's not that we will see what happens in the next two, three days. So you have, of course, it always is after games. You have knocks here and there. Hendo obviously twisted his ankle, but could carry on. So that's rather good than a bad sign. But until Wednesday, it's of course not, it's not the longest break in the world. Um, so we will see. Uh, Joe obviously got an early um, an, an knock as well, twisted his ankle as well a little bit. We have to see about that. Who else? Not sure. So uh, that we will we will see. It's not uh, Sadio didn't play, so he will be fine for Wednesday. <laughs> He is used to that. I don't understand the question. How is how can you think that he so far was not physically attacked? It's always a, there are rules. They have nothing to do with how you play. Mo Salah is the most attacked player probably in the Premier League. So you always deal with that. He doesn't have to learn that. It's not that other teams let him go through and said, "Oh, you're so much a wonderful player, go." So I'm not I'm not responsible for 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 judging the rules. That's the ref, and if he thinks um, that's still okay, if he wants to set that level, I cannot change it. I, whatever I say causes us only problems. Yeah? And, and um, Whatever you think, write it again. Don't make the stories with what I say. If I say, yes, he's too hard attacked, I can already imagine what a kind of nice headline you make. So, it's a gray area. It's, it's, a it's not a gray area, it's in rules. Where, where's the gray area? When it's a foul, it's a foul. It's too hard, it's too hard. It's, that's not a gray area. It's football, it's physical, no problem with that. For all the boys, they're used to that, absolutely. If it's too much, it's too much. Free kick, yellow card, red card, a lot of things what you can do. That's it. But, how is that? I cannot change that. Okay. Any more from the Sunday guys? Or John Thayer? Yeah, a lot of fans will be leaving for Rome tomorrow. I mean, is there anything you'd like to say? I said everything. Everybody knows, everybody knows. Go there, open your eyes and hopefully all people are responsible. 
Again, can there anybody say anything without my saying about that? That I, I'm the German coming here, don't know anything about history and stuff like that. So you constantly ask me about that and I have to explain the situation. I have no clue about Rome. I was never there, not private, not, not, not um, pro as a professional. So common sense, please. And if you don't feel safe, stay in the hotel, go home again, then we do the job without the people. Nobody should be um, afraid or whatever. So I, I really don't, can't get that, that we talk constantly about this and hopefully police forces from all countries help together that nothing happens. So, and Rome can show that it's only a rumor. Yeah. Okay. Any final ones, guys, from the uh, Sundays? Thank you. We'll do a brief one, isn't it?